Hello again, here we all are. Again to another small episode of J Shed and on this episode what we're we'll looking at are these little lovely thingies here. Yeah, indeed, the humble fluorescent starter. Three different kinds there, you can see that. I'm just gonna explain the difference between the couple because I've been caught out with this before and I don't think a lot of people know. Mind you, if you know, you know, don't you? And before we start, of course, anything on these videos, electric-wise, let me do it. Don't do it yourself. And if you do, at your own risk. So you've been told, all right? Right, now, starters, various starters. Okay, so this is the starter that starts our fluorescent lamps. Mainly in the kitchens and cupboards, all different kinds of places we have fluorescent lighting. Uh, and there's actually two different kinds. Now, I'm going to explain to that. Here we have a Philips. S2. Now Philips normally normal starters are S10s. Now these are specially formulated for when you've got strip lights in series. Now a good example of that is the ones that you see in offices which are in the square which are recessed in at the ceiling you've got four tubes running in it or maybe some even have six maybe four maybe two foot five foot four foot whichever now these require one of these starters. If we use a normal starter, say it's like this one or or thorn, there's an old one for you, an old thorn starter there, and that's many years old. If we use a normal everyday starter, these will not fire. These will not fire the tubes up. So you switch on and you've got nothing. These particular fittings require S2s, right we've got a couple of S2s here, this is the first one I showed you, but this is also another Philips one, S2. Now we have to look at what these can actually, what these can actually fire. Now we'd be very, be very surprised here because it will, it will fire a single tube, but only a single tube of a certain kind. So here we go, if you've got, it's got, it says here 110 to 130 volt, single tube 22 watt. Okay, um, and then it's got 22, 240 volt, uh, 4 to 20 watt series. That means the tubes that are, like I say, which we ride in series, like the ones we get in offices and that, it will fire those. And this is rated to 22 watts because most of office lighting, if it's a 2x2 two two, a recess ceiling fitting, then we're going to be looking at 18 watt on a, on a, T, uh, on a T8. Or 20 watt on a T12 tube so that's that one this one may be right no this is again rated at the same but they can also you can also use them singly on a single four six and eight watt tube now this is worth remembering because I remember seeing a job once it was down in a local church hall and they had these recessed series lamps in their kitchens and they replaced them with yeah, you guessed it, a normal starter, nothing worked. So they had the whole thing replaced, all the lanterns replaced. And I acquired two, and I bought them back, and I had them in the shed here, and I stuck T, uh, S2, S2 Phillips uh, starters in, and yes, it all lit up brilliantly. So that was a waste of time and money, them doing that, when all it required were these to be changed. But when they changed them and put new tubes in and tried to service them, they just used normal starters and didn't work. So there we go. So that's the difference between the two kinds of starters. So don't get caught out like that. Um, I did many years back. I've made the same mistake. I've put a, a wrong starter into a series fluorescent fitting. So there we go. So that's the difference between your normal starter and your series, series starter. Okay. Um, just a uh, heads up ahead, um, on the next video we'll be looking at high frequency PLT lamps <laughs> and why they keep blowing the trip, but that's another story for another video another time. If you like the videos, as always, thanks, oh, by the way, thanks for your comments and your and uh, things, all thumbs up and things, it's really good, I'm glad you're en enjoying this little channel. Um, is there a thumbs up? comments ring the bells if you ain't subscribed subscribe and i'll bring you back another video very soon and we'll have a look at these uh, high frequency lamps that don't seem to like firing up without blowing the clip 
So anyway, till next time, you be very safe and we'll see you soon. Bye-byes.